He's gone from Little Britain to big school to showing us his bottom on the West End stage. So put your hands together for David Walliam! <laughs> In these days, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me get you a nice drink, please. Because, uh, what do you fancy? We have got martini, Caribbean twist, Tizer. What's Caribbean twist? Oh, let me. F here it is, love. Blue Lagoon. <laughs> a sparkling cocktail made with superior white rum. Yes, please. <laughs> I like a blue drink. Yes. <laughs> Right it's here. a mark of quality, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's bubble bath. It's the same, uh, same ingredients. Oh, lovely. Look and it's fizzy. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, look at this. It's just... like we're in the future <laughs> yeah. having drinks. <laughs> like in space 1999. Because <laughs> they have blue drinks. Well, listen, we've got to say loads of congratulations. You're a father now. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Yes. I've done it with a lady. You and her baby come out. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was in shock. I thought it was a wonder. <laughs> <laughs> How's the little fella doing? We uh, we named him Alan after well, our no. after our favourite talk show host, Alan Titchmar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's great. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a wonderful adventure. I mean, yeah. anyone out there who, who is a parent will know that. Look, that's all everyone talks about. Everyone's having babies, aren't they? Well, not everybody. Um, but uh, it's, it's... Simon sort of... Cowell is. <laughs> we'll come to that later. <laughs> I'm not sure which I found more surprising, your baby or his, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was actually there when, when the baby was conceived. Oh. <laughs> I was... Uh... So I, I held his hand. <laughs> yeah. And at one point, I even helped guide it in. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm going to get sacked. I'll try to get On that next series. Because <laughs> I saw the headline, Simon and Lauren, mm. and I naturally assumed it was Lauren Harry's from Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> He was thinking about Lauren Harris when the baby uh, was... was... <laughs> <laughs> no, I they mean, look lovely together, don't they? But they're they? on a nudist speech. Who's that in the back? <laughs> <laughs> Chico! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that picture of them snogging, though? I found it quite awkward. I mean... You remember those monkeys in the PG Tips ad? <laughs> 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 you know? It's a case. <laughs> <laughs> so they look very sweet together. I mean, it's it's hard for me to look at those pictures. Yeah, I mean, I honest. know. I mean, you you you've got you've had. Um, I've been there. You've been, you, that was you <laughs> a few months ago. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, she is a lovely lady. I've met her a few times. She's fantastic, and I, I you know, I think. Well, good I think, luck it, I think to it's her. yeah, and I think it may be the best thing that ever happens to her. Yeah. Now, is it true uh, she got pregnant when she threw her eggs at Simon at the Britain's Got Talent final? <laughs> Um, Fertilise these. <laughs> I, mean, I think you've got two events confused there, Alan. Because it was a different lady throwing eggs. Oh, no. no. They were different. They were hen's eggs. Oh, no. <laughs> You've got to talk to me about that, because I don't know about you, were you sitting at home watching it, and, of course, those two lovely boys, what they called... Dream the impossible <laughs> <laughs> but it was a bit scary because, because at first we didn't really know what was going on. I mean, can't they, don't they have security to stop these people nutters getting? Well, I don't know. They weren't checking people for eggs, were they? I don't know. <laughs> 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 you might be having an omelette later or something like that. I don't know. But she was, she was one of the musicians yeah. on the night. But I suppose live TV, these things happen. Oh, well, it was... I mean, I know it's spoiled their performance, but they're number one, those kids They've now. They've been anyway, number so, one yeah. for weeks. Yes. yes. Uh, your, new, your new sitcom, Big School, has a connection with Britain's Got Talent, hasn't it? Has it? Has it? Well, I'm in it. <laughs> yes! So I'm that in is it! it. <laughs> <laughs> no, aren't yours and Catherine Tate's characters based on Gay and Alan? Well, a little bit. Gay and Alan, if you don't remember, the two bell ringers who were in sort of series a few years ago. 
And I was quite <laughs> obsessed with Gay and Alan. I mean, I love that her name is Gay. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, hello, I'm Gay. Oh, I won't trouble you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, and the fact that he were two sort of quite sort of shy looking people yeah, yeah. who do this extraordinary thing together. I wanted to do a story about two sort of quite introverted yeah. people like that. But it turned out quite different because Catherine is actually very beautiful and glamorous. Yes. And she looks gorgeous. Just like gay. In the series. No, she looks quite different to gay. <laughs> I, look a bit, um, I look a bit like Alan, maybe, possibly. We've got a, a clip from next week's show. This is Mr Church and his love rival, Mr Gunn, squaring up in the shower in big school. <laughs> School is a great setting for a sitcom, isn't it? Well, I think... I hope so, yes. Well, no, 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 it is. When you think how ripe the characters are back there, cos a lot of teachers, they have got that, that weird... It, it, it's, it's, a weird a it's a weird job. It's a profession. Yeah. Well, my sister's a teacher, so I've got to watch what I say. And also, yeah. my mum was a lab technician. One of those people in the white coats like you have in yeah, your... Yeah, it's just sort of... They don't really speak, who's sort of like, you know... Yeah. A little sort of strange assistant person. They did, they used to just, you know, in science, you'd look through that little porthole, <laughs> wouldn't you? And they'd be there, and they're not like, yeah. <laughs> Preacher, yeah, yeah, that's my mum. Um, <laughs> thanks a lot. She used to like this show. Um, and, and my sister's a, a primary school teacher, but yeah. it is a profession that sometimes attracts quite unusual yes. characters. Yes. And that's what yeah. we've tried to do in big school. We've tried to put all these eccentric characters. Yeah. All the teachers that you might remember from, 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 from your school days and my yeah. school days, everyone's school days, and sort of mm. try to find out the characters, you know, the, try, try and create a cast of characters around that. Are you going to do anything about sex education? We haven't yet, so maybe in another series we might. Did you have it at school? Yeah, yeah, but they showed us videos of animals having sex. So I still bite the scruff of my partner's neck. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we might, do, we might do something about sex education. It's kind yeah. of one of those things, isn't it, that sort of is really embarrassing. But the question I asked when we had sex education is, why do people do it? Which people never ask. And why the teacher went, I think the thrill of it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you've never done a sitcom before, have no, you? No, no. So what was it like putting your baby out there? Was you well, nervous? Did you yeah, go on Twitter? Yeah, it's nerve-wracking with anything, but, but, of course, if you let those fears hold you back, you wouldn't do anything. No, we had much. great reviews. You had nothing to worry about. But Comic just... Masterclass, The Daily Mail. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Five stars, heat. Yeah. <laughs> Taze and Williams are wonderful, yeah, yeah, The yeah. Times. I could go on. <laughs> We were looking at we were looking at reviews because we had to put some quotes on the yeah. DVD. That's why I've memorised them. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you are a David of all trades. Mm. What other talent show judge could do a Shakespeare play? He's doing Shakespeare. <laughs> I saw Talisa taming the shrew, but I didn't make it <laughs> to the end. <laughs> I know I'm doing Midsummer Night's Dream. Ah, with in, Sheridan Smith. In the Smith. West End with a fantastic Sheridan Smith. Mm. I play a character called Bottom. Yes. And I'm an. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny already. <laughs> and uh, I play an amateur dramatics actor. Yes. And uh, Sheridan is Titania, Queen of mm. the Fairies. No, you lost out on that part. But. <laughs> 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 and, uh, it's, quite a, it's quite a sexy play. It's about people who all get lost in the forest one night and they all sort of swap partners. And, and my character, Bottom, gets turned into a donkey. Yes. At the end. And then that's when I, I then go to bed with Titania. I'm a donkey oh. and I get a transformation. I've got a tail and I've got ears. And I've also got some donkey teeth as well. <laughs> uh, well, so that's what I... <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Is it like looking in a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> Break her legs, David. Thank um, you. Good luck with the rest of Big School and, of course, the play. <laughs> <laughs> David McManus, everyone. Oh. You know,